hosted by tired mama of one. Am I the butthole for feeding my daughter pork even though her father is Muslim? I know this sounds made up, but I have the proof this is an actual thing I'm dealing with. So my child's father is Muslim, but I'm not. We've been broken up since before she was born and she's always lived with me because I'm not Muslim I've always given her bacon and pork chops because that's what I eat. Now that the child is almost two the father who does not live in the same area as us has suddenly decided this is a problem. I keep saying that she's not Muslim and his religion has nothing to do with her diet unless she decides later on to join, in which case I have no problem stopping pork but his views is that she shouldn't have any until she's old enough to decide to have pork. Now I feel like an butt but I still told him no, but it's been bugging me, and his lawyer is angry off at me, am I in butthole? Should a non-custodial parent's religious beliefs dictate the diet of a child who does not follow that belief? Oh, and I should mention that this child was born out of wedlock, so obviously he does not follow his religion that closely. Edit to add, I've seen a few people mention so I thought I'd add, I'd never dream about asking him to give pork to her on his time that would in my opinion be completely immoral and reprehensible. His beliefs are his and I'd never ask him to break them. Second edit, we live in Canada, we have a temporary order and in the one who has full custody. And now to the comments. Cotterbrook commented. Not the butthole. You're raising the child as a single parent, so you decide what she eats until she is old enough to make those decisions herself. Also, considering you don't follow any other tenets of his religion in raising the child, getting hung up on pork in particular feels very random, almost like he does not actually care, but is just looking for a reason to pick a fight and bother you. Do they want to know 6,417 commented? You've been broken up since before the child was born. She lives with you, so she lives according to the rules and customs of your house. Her bio father is Muslim, not you and not your child. As you said, when she is old enough she can decide for herself. His lawyer is angry off at me. Why is his lawyer so entitled about your child's diet? Is he Muslim as well? Not the butthole. Alarke NSD commented. Not the butthole haha <laughs> having a child out of wedlock has got to be a bigger deal than eating pork when you are not even aware of the concept of pork. Okay, report 3201 commented. Not the butthole. If his religion is important to him then, he would follow all the religious tenets. The last time I checked having erotic relations outside of marriage is not allowed. Also being in a relationship with someone who is not a Muslim is not allowed either. Did you ever see him drink alcohol? If so, that's another strike against him. He does not sound like a good practitioner of his faith. It also sounds like he does not not share custody with you can choose how to raise your daughter since you are doing all the work and he is just another absentee father. Apocalypse Joe likes to add. Not the butthole if he wants to have a say in her life. He needs to be part of it and he is not. Does he even pay child support? I would honestly tell him that he needs to stop or you'll be filing harassment charges. And if in the US, I'd even throw in the kicker that he can stop trading on your religious freedom anytime because you and daughter are not required to live by his religious standards. To the next post. Posted by Samson783. Am I the butthole for not letting a friend gay keep coughing? I was having coffee with some friends, well, I'll call them Ash and Beth. Beth is a huge coffee person. She has several different kinds of coffee machines and has multiple different flavors and brands of coffee at her house. I happened to see the bag for the coffee she was brewing that day and recognized it as the Bones Coffee brand. While we were drinking, Ash mentioned how much she loved the coffee and asked what brand it was. Eth replied it's a brand she found that can only be bought online. Ash asked for the name again but Beth said she saw an advertisement for it on Instagram and she would just have to wait until she saw it herself. Ash, who does not really use social media, was visibly agitated, so I told her it was Bones Coffee. She said thank you for telling me and the rest of the morning went by awkwardly. Later that day, I get a text from Beth saying it was in butt move to tell her when she was trying to keep it a secret. She said coffee is her thing and she is allowed to want to keep something for herself. 
I told her I don't think Ash is all of a sudden going to become a coffee aficionado just from liking one flavor of coffee, but Beth still insists I was in the wrong. I don't see how telling a good friend the name of coffee she likes makes me a butt, but maybe there is something in missing. And now to the comments. Astroprof commented. There is a type of person who attaches their social stature to how much unique, desirable information they can make others aware that they are withholding from them. Those people are assholes. You, on the other hand, gave away the goods for free. A bit like a journalist. Not the butthole. hole. Alarming reply 6,286 likes to add. Ha ha. Poor Beth. She gonna be angry when she finds up coffee is also a billion other people's thing. Not the butthole. hole. A comment from Shall We Start Then. Not the butthole your friend is being ridiculous. Nothing worse than a coffee snob. Current read likes to add. What a weird thing to gatekeep. I love tea of all different kinds of infusers and teapots and if someone is like this tea is great. I'm like it's this tea you can get it here. Because it's a frickin' beverage not a collectible not the butthole. Contessa Lenart commented. Not the butthole. OMG. Yes, knowledge is power. But man, she does not own the rights to the stuff she likes. That is the most selfish thing I have ever heard. Tell the coffee snob to not let the door hit her a dollar dollar on the way out. To the next post. Posted by any wolf 134 Am I the butthole? For telling my sister that a comment she made is exactly why her marriage crashed and burned. My sister has been staying with my husband and I men in our late twenties for the last week and some change. She and her husband have initiated the divorce process and she said she does not want to stay alone right now, which I completely understand. It would be very hard to go from living with a partner to a completely silent house. I opened our home to her before I found out why her marriage didn't work out. Now that the two of us have had multiple conversations about it, I am a little uncomfortable. There was no infidelity. There was no big scandal. What she told me is that her husband wasn't having sex with her enough. The things she has been saying have floored me. She says without sex, the two of them were basically just like roommates. She said she had been pushing for him to get a hormone imbalance test done because while they were still having sex, it wasn't enough. She said he had begun resisting even normal touches from her because from his perspective, all she thought about was sex which apparently isn't true. I am not sure I believe that. I can elaborate in the comment, but overall it just left me feeling sad for her ex and the disrespect of saying six is the only thing that separates a partner from a roommate. Not even a friend. I've done my best to be supportive, but I can't relate to the thought process at all. If my partner told me tomorrow that he wasn't up for sex for the next few weeks, months or longer, I would just take care of myself and respect that. I love him and I want him to be the person I do life with forever. This all came to a head last night. My husband and I were having a typical lazy Saturday night catching up on some shows and chatting while we lounge on the couch. His legs were in my lap and I was kind of absent-mindedly massaging his feet and rubbing his ankles. This was an innocent gesture. My sister came in, saw me doing it and made a joke along the lines of butthole, OP, I didn't know you were into feet or I didn't know you had a foot fetish. The exact wording escapes me. I couldn't help but feel put off at her sexualizing the gesture. Intimacy can be erotic, but it does not have to be. I told her so, and then said, referring to her divorce, he's sexualizing every interaction is why you're in the situation you are now. She called me a dick and left the room. I already know it was a little harsh, but I am unsure if it was tough love or too much. Am I the butthole? Edit, I appreciate everyone's recommendation, but I do not like the dead bedroom sub. See my comment here where I elaborate on why. And now to the comments. Purple Dragon likes to add. Not the butthole. That is a weird thing to say to your sibling and thinking every time you touch your partner it has to be for erotic reasons is screwed up. You probably could have been nicer, but that's a weird thing to say. A comment from Important Salad 5158. Everybody sucks here. It's weird that your sister made a comment that sexualized her brother. That's sucking strange. However, 
Why did you have to bring her failed marriage into it? She confided in you, you didn't agree and you threw it into her face. There are so many ways you could have expressed your concerns about her reasons for her divorce without attacking her. A comment from Apocalypse Joe. Yay, you are a bit you the butthole. It really disturbs me that there are people who think that sex isn't important in a relationship because for a majority of couples, it is a very important aspect. If sex is one of her love languages, not being able to express that openly with a person who is supposed to love and support her can be a decimating rejection. If he is not even willing to touch her, that's a problem. If she is to the point where she wants him to go to the doctor, there is a bigger issue. This does not sound like a case where she is hyper-erotic. It sounds like she's feeling neglected and rejected by her husband. It sounds like she has a healthy sex drive and there is something potentially wrong with her husband whether there be hormones, mental health or an affair, especially if this is a drastic change from normal. If he's refusing to even find out if there is a medical issue, then yes, the issue is him. Stop slut-shaming your sister for wanting her relationship to be healthy. Mothman NFT commented. Everybody sucks here, her comment was entirely uncalled for, commenting on how other people express intimacy almost always is. But she is perfectly within her rights to not feel sexually satisfied and to want to leave a situation because of it. It does not make her a bad person and you're a good person, how you'd each deal with a lack of sex. She is not cheating on him, she is not forcing him to be more erotic from what I can tell. She is handling this the way any unsatisfied person in marriage showed, by letting the relationship end. He deciding to bring her marriage into his was uncalled for when a simple don't comment on our intimacy please would do. He decided to hurt her simply because he can't relate to her. You're also basing your feelings on an imaginary situation where the person you love is in a situation where they can't have sex with you for a reason. She was in a situation where nominally everything was average and she recognised that she wasn't getting enough sex to be satisfied and that it wasn't going to change. Apples and oranges. And I also find the comments crying about reversing it to be peak my the butthole. Behaviour this question is about how OP behaved towards his sister. We know less than OP and OP does not appear to know much of anything about the relationship. Throwing the failed relationship in her face in retaliation to a bad joke is unreasonable. 169G420 commented. Holy poopy the butthole. She made a slight joke, maybe one you found offensive. From my perspective, this is a light tease. Then you proceeded to go nuclear and use something your sister told you in a moment of vulnerability just to hurt her. She is going through a traumatic experience. She probably feels a ton of self-confidence issues because her husband was resisting even normal touches from her and you proceeded to pour love into the wound. For what? Because she made a light joke about a foot massage. The end tier people here are blowing my fucking mind. You owe your sister a deep apology. That was tough love. It wasn't love at all. A comment from Mike Tisbacanton. Info, did she ever try to coerce her partner for more intimacy? Seems like we're missing some context if he started recoiling at her touch. That's a huge reaction that does not just pop out of nowhere. Honestly, erotic incompatibility happens in relationships. Sometimes one partner has a high libido and the other has next to no libido. Neither are in the wrong and both are valid reasons for ending the relationship. Your sister isn't in the wrong just for having a high sex drive. OP likes to add. I don't think there was any direct coercion, at least from what she's told me. She said she was feeling very rejected because she was trying to initiate a lot and he wasn't receptive except for about once a week, and that she would drop it without pressing him after he gave nonverbal I'm not into it cues or said no. However, I do find the line between coercion and expression desires to be particularly fine in situations like these in my past experiences with breakups. There are usually multiple conversations leading up to the main event that take place. How do you properly initiate a conversation where the main takeaway is if you don't start sleeping with me x times a week? I am leaving without it sounding at least a little bit like coercion. I don't know. I think I would be more forgiving if this was a dating breakup and not a marriage one, since these problems have occurred the entire relationship past the first few months apparently. Edit change some wording to clarify the two of them were seemingly having sex about once a week. I had unintentionally made it sound like he was always turning her down, which isn't the case from what I've been told. Owl Trainer appeared commented. Not the butthole honestly, let's reverse it. If a guy was telling his wife you're not putting out enough, or let's give your hormonal imbalance test, or when you do get physical, it's never good enough, he would be TH and people would call for his head on a puck, so why does it change when it's a woman? To the next post.
posted by throwaway 135,670. Am I the butthole? For insulting my sister and proving her point. Impregnant with my third boy and final baby. Sure go, we've been sweet, but it's not something that matters to me. But ever since I told my sister the gender, she's become a bit mean with the way she talks about my children. She also keeps begging me to try again after my third just in case I have a girl because girls are such a blessing. I don't disagree but am quite happy with my own little blessings. My sister still acted normal though so when she invited me and my family over we went. But when we got there my eldest ran to her for a hug and she brushed him off and started scolding him for not asking first. That this is their thing, he always runs up to her for a hug when he sees her and my sister has never discouraged it before. He does not just go around hugging random people either. Apart from me, she also invited her friends. None of them have kids except my sister and one other who's pregnant. She started telling her pregnant friend the pros and cons of each gender but for boys the only pro she put was well he won't suffer as much as a girl will. I don't think she's wrong about this but my she was with her making this the only good thing about having a boy. The cons she put in were wild too. Like they're all borderline sociopathic or you'll turn into a weird boy mom and similar. She also talked about how women unconsciously don't want boy babies and our bodies actually try to fight off her pregnancy if it's a boy. But what angry me off was her villainizing my kids. She picked apart the hugging incident, talked about my other son being too confident in himself. But my eldest one being shy is an issue too because apparently a three-year-old has ulterior motives. She then talked about how my third is going to be just as bad after all as a boy. But maybe that's a good thing. I doubt the baby would matter much if it was a girl since you have your special little boys already. Even her friends looked uncomfortable the second she started analyzing me and my kids. I kind of just went what is wrong with you. She looked a bit taken aback by my tone but I told her that I understand that boys get a better start in life just because of their gender but my kids are still under the age of five and haven't done anything to make her act like such a witch towards them. I told her to go take her anger out on men that deserve it and as of course she's only this brave when it comes to little kids that can't fight back. In that case, how is she any better than a man? My sister was upset and argued that my reaction is proof of what she was saying and am acting just like a crazy boy mom because I couldn't handle a little criticism. The only person on my side is her pregnant friend who revealed she's pregnant with a boy plus one other friend. My sister thinks I should apologize for insulting her when she's right. I want another opinion. Dear listener, do you like my voice? Please tell me which speaker you prefer in the comments below. And now to the comments. Wolfgoddess77 commented. I kind of just went what is wrong with you. This is the understatement of the century. What is wrong with her to suddenly make her hate boy so much? And why is she so obsessed with your pregnancy if it was a girl? Is she unable to have children of her own? I feel like there are much deeper issues going on with your sister. This behavior is not normal. Not the butthole. Honestly, your reaction was quite mild. OP likes to add. She has a daughter and no sons. But she's married to a man, happy from what I can see slash what she tells me. I'm very inclined to believe that this is a me problem because she was perfectly fine till I told her my third's a boy and I'm done after him. Cult Queen likes to add. Not the butthole. The fact that she didn't end up with natural blue eyeshadow around her eyes tells me you are the mature one in your sibling relationship. The nerve to talk that way about innocent little boys that just wanted a hug from their aunt. Despicable. OP likes to add. It shocked me so much I didn't really know what to do. She was always so sweet to him too. And I mean him older, I've always been more mature since I've had more responsibilities. Oxculver commented. Holy cheese and crackers, that woman would never go anywhere near my children again. Not the butthole. In fact, I don't think you went far enough. Okay, report 3000, 201 likes to add. Not the butthole. Your sister is insane, sexist, and she honestly sounds borderline sociopathic when it comes to boys and men. You did nothing wrong and you certainly don't owe her an apology, she owes you and your boys an apology. 
For the sake of your boys, keep them away from her. Flunfy11 commented. I love the phrase can't handle criticism. What is she criticizing? Male children existing? The wounds of your genes producing three boys in a row, something you had no input in? This isn't criticism, this is just a vicious and wildly unfounded tirade. I mean pregnant women naturally reject male babies. Where the hell did she read that? 100% not the butthole, your sister needs to work through her misandry issues. A comment from you all little birdie. Not the butthole, your sister has some major issues that she probably needs to address with a therapist. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you want more of this content, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell. Have a nice day and hopefully I see you soon.